So what is architecture? Architecture is to find the most specific materialistic solution with the most general value. What can architecture do? Architecture can increase the quality of life uh, uh, as far as it, it is based on the built environment uh, for the majority of our society. What is your architectural position? The, what, the thing I said to you before. And what is your design method? That's a complicated issue, but my design method is focusing on a principle that we understand the now existing a building structure as an overlapping of five different technical systems relating to five very different uh, time frames. Uh, no, the, uh, the relation to the public normally reaches through decision of an architectural lifetime, which is more of much f uh, older than 100 years. The technical structure and the organization of the building in verticals, in, in, in uh, load-bearing systems, reaches a lifetime of more than 100 years, and even some countries by law nowadays. The third uh, comp uh, level is the envelope or the skin of the building which manages the relation of inside and outside, uh, which is the most crucial relation, which normally reaches a lifetime of about uh, 50 to 70 years. Then the program, uh, the organization of the building, which reaches normally a lifetime shorter than one generation, this is less than 20 years, and the interior surfaces which, and the technical installations, which reaches normally a lifetime of uh, 10 to 15 years, but not more. Nowadays, uh, during the 20th century, we were very much focusing on the idea of the program of a city relating to a lifespan of 20 or 25 years, which I believe is the biggest mistake in architectural development. But on the other hand, this big mistake uh, pronounced and uh, developed big quantities but we have a lot of problems when we speak about qualities in relation to these quantities. So you would focus on the program or, or do you think the five layers are the program, uh, the program is only the issue which really deals with one generation, but the, a building nowadays, and that's what we learned out of the last uh, 50 years, should have a lifetime more than 100 years. That's the biggest contribution architects can do for the, con for the sustainability and for the performance of the building. But when you only think about the program, you think wrong. I'm really sorry. You think about the next 20 years, but the building should be there for 100 years or even longer. So why don't we think about the 100 years? Uh, and we, I think that's a big mistake which is shown in the big quantities which were built in the 60s, 70s, 80s, even until the 90s, that they were focusing too much on the program. Nowadays, we don't like these things anymore. The social and cultural value is is quite low, the uh, acceptance in society is quite low, and we don't consider why. I think it's very obvious. We were thinking about the wrong things. So you would but I know that universities are doing this at the moment in a big scale st until now. I know. So for an open, uh, open construction, open structure, which could be used in another way after... Uh, the, the the, for example, the building we're in now, this can be used as, uh, no, this is used as uh, art gallery, as a cafeteria, as a small offices, as a big office, as an open office, as house, as apartments, and uh, I, I don't care, you know, I don't, I'm not interested anymore how the building is used. I'm more interested in the question which areas of the building should be public, which areas should be private, but that's it and how much they are divided, you know. Okay, that's what you should know, but that's not the future. There have to be a lot of possibilities to divide uh, buildings into different organizational uh, forms. You, maybe you know that the organization of a company and the space organization of a company, the lifetime is less than five years. So why do we talk about it? It has to be adapted anyway. <laughs>